Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome to another episode of Heisenberg Gaming. My name is Heisenberg and this is episode number 42. Well, as you can see, I got uh, two chests to open, so let's do that right now. See what's in there. Well, we got 68 gold. We got a goblin hut. 10 barbarians. And we got 79 gold, one bomb tower, and 10 fire spirits. Okay, well, let's get going with this episode. I'm gonna show you a couple of games, three to be exact, with the Lava Hound, Mega Minion, Tombstone, Arrows, Mini P.E.K.K.A., Baby Dragon, Musketeer and Minion deck. I'm playing three completely different decks. One of the decks has the three Musketeers. Another one has, uh, well, uh, often played some sort of trifecta deck with the Archers and uh, the free spell. So, but uh, I will stop talking and we start with the first game. Here we go! Alrighty, so this is the first game we're playing against a level 12. I cannot pronounce his name, probably Chinese. But that doesn't matter, of course. But uh, I start off with the Lava Hound, and he starts off with the three Musketeers. So. Three Musketeers can be difficult to handle unless you uh, have the Fireball and in combination with Arrows and or Zap and that really works out. So as you can see this push actually works out quite well killing that one Musketeer on the left and the Lava Pups doing some work there on the left Arena Tower. I'm killing the princess immediately because a level 4 princess can do quite some damage as you all know. Okay, we wait for elixir to fill up and then we start all over again with the lava hound push. He drops down an elixir collector and I'll put down my tombstone. That combination is just killer. Well, he splits off the three musketeers, this time two in the left lane. So the musketeers are focusing on the lava hound, but my musketeer is focusing on the left arena tower. So princess dead, musketeer shooting on the king tower. We got an attack on the right with the mini P.E.K.K.A and the mini P.E.K.K.A is doing some work there only 481 HP left Lava Hound coming in and we drop down the tombstone for destruction well he kills my right arena tower with his miner in this case I throw my arrows because arrows do quite some damage actually. They do around uh, 400 damage. So that's already half the battle against those uh, three musketeers. So it's actually quite a good play to throw in uh, the arrows. Arrows are three elixir, musketeers are nine. So you actually can spend some elixir to kill those uh, dirty three musketeers but as you can see we can still win from three musketeers with the lava hound and all looking good so let's go to game number two alrighty this is game number two 
and as you can see this is a often played deck with the barbarians elixir collector archers knights cannon elixir collector and the hog rider and also freeze and poison so I see this deck being played a lot in uh, the top 200 but if I check the TV Royale replays like in 90% of the games people lose with this deck so I don't know why they are still playing it but uh, it should must have have some sort of benefits I don't know maybe I should try it so at the moment we're not doing any damage at all so things are looking horrible so I throw in my dragon to kill off the barbarians and this time the baby dragon will actually do some work I have no idea why he placed his cannon there because he must have known that the cannon cannot reach air units so that was a complete waste of three elixir really weird strategy all right so here goes the lava hound and he's doing some defensive poison work here no idea why if he was smart he should have kept it for the lava hound when the lava hound pops you can just kill the pups in seconds with the poison so what is he doing this really doesn't look good so I use my arrows to uh, finish the right arena tower he's trying uh, attack with the hog rider but it only got off three hits well the last 10 seconds are counting and there isn't much he can do so uh, here we go GG good game well played but uh, it was kind of an easy win so let's go to the last and final game game number three so this is the last game uh, game number three against boss hawk I play him actually a lot he is a really good player most of the time he's in the top 200 and he mixes his decks like constantly so you never know what to expect so this was actually quite an exciting game till the last second I didn't know if I would win or lose so I won't spoil the game for you just yet but let's see what will happen so here he comes with the minion horde and I think oh my goodness so I drop down my mega minion and in combination with the tombstone and the musketeer I could handle it quite well so I try a little push here this is actually quite interesting like the ice spirit froze my mini P.E.K.K.A the tower was focusing on the mini P.E.K.K.A and my baby dragon could do a lot of damage so I could get even with him so that's really nice and here again he is doing a little bit of chip damage with his poison but nothing too serious but actually played that uh, quite well 
So as you can see, Boss Hawk is a very friendly guy. He's from the Bernie or Bust clan. And uh, this clan has actually quite a lot of talented players. So, And he's a friendly guy. Never bad manners. So, I'm coming in with a push and he is actually freezing both the, the baby dragon and the lava hound that I could throw in the arrows at the last second. And this is actually quite smart using the poison to kill off my pups. I already told you so in the last game, the game before this one. If you have poison, you should keep it for the lava pup. So when it's about to pop, throw in your poison so the lava hounds can do much damage. But this is killing the tower. He's bringing in the miner. I dropped down my mini packer really fast. And it's good game, well played. So that was Boss Hawk from Bernie or Bust. GG. And this concludes episode number 42. Thanks for watching. As I said in my last episode, like in the beginning of next week, I will host a tournament with Surgical Goblin. And I will make a video of the entire tourney of one hour and I'll be focusing on the games that Surgical Goblin will be playing. So that'll be for next week. Hope you liked this video. If you did, please leave a like. And if you like my channel, it would be super awesome if you would subscribe. So till next time, take care. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.